Amazing new Planet Raven intro theme. That was My House by Flo Rida, available on Google Play and iTunes. I'm Chris Telly. And I'm Jaslyn. We continue the road to graduation with just 50 dude, 52 days left until the big day at NRG Stadium. So let's get started with these annou announcements. <laughs> um, graduation is here, but there won't be one unless if you pay your dues. So if you have any not clears, please get that taken care of before the end of the year. But Rorden Gramsci is a famous director, and he is here with his upcoming game show. I am world famous director Rorden Gramsci, and I'm here on my brand new game show, where people, some of the greatest directors from miles around, compete for a spot on my studio team. Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm here to be on his studio team. And I don't, I don't want it to happen. He's so mean to everyone. Everyone. I mean everyone. I'm Sarai and I'm the best director here. No matter what director Ramsey says, I'm gonna win. Hi, I'm Garrick. I came for the food. Hello, I am Rodan Ramsey, world famous director. And I'm here to judge you in your videos. You think that you are the best and the brightest of your field, but I'll have you know that you aren't. I am. And I'm here to judge your videos. Not only am I going to be judging you physically, but also metaphorically, because I'm going to take these videos and I'm going to use them to judge your character as well, which isn't very reasonable, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I don't care. That being said, contestant number one, step up and tell me what your video is about. I'm contestant number one. Keep talking. <laughs> um, my video is about a earthquake. It'll be great. I hope you like it. You Whoa! Did you feel that? Oh god, it's an earthquake! That video? It's utter garbage. One of, the, one of the worst things I've seen in all my life. In fact, that video was 10 minutes long, and we only watched like the first 10 seconds. I cut it off after that. It was, it was just so bad. What, did your cameraman have a seizure? The camera was everywhere. Atrocious! It was rotten, and I hated it. Miserable, wretched, disgusting. Contestant number two, please step up, and hopefully what you show me is better than the last one. I'm Soraya, and I may do the best video of all time. Oh, it's actually very fun. We get to deal with pickles all, all day, and you really have to use the right technique because you can cut off your fingers. And just a second, I have to get coat. Pickle, pickles are very fun. Oh, uh, sir, sir, sir. Wow, that <coughs> that was amazing. Amazingly horrible! I hated every second of it. Ramsey said my video was bad. Obviously, he hadn't seen the other competitors' videos. Contestant number three, please step on up. You're Gordon Ramsay, right? When do we get the food? What do you think this show is? I'm here watching videos. Does it look like I cook food to you? I'm an artiste. I don't make food. Cut. I make... I make beauty. It angers me that you would even come in here and insinuate that I do such a thing as make food. Get out. Don't look at me like that. Get out. I said get out. Security! Take this man out of this restaurant! I mean, I mean studio. It's not a restaurant. You just, mm. I still want food. They were so atrocious. I don't even, I don't even know how to comment on them. They were just, they were horrible. I, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, you know what? Show's canceled. I'm done. I'm done! Well, Rorden Gramsci or Matthew Busby, if that is your real name, great job on this video. I would like to be on that game show, if it were real. But, attention students! This year's 2016 summer school registration will be online at tinyurl.com slash PISD registration. It will be available from Monday, April 11th at 8 a.m. until Friday, May 20th at 12 p.m. So sign up today. For all you fairy tale and folklore students, here's a Cinderella story you will love. 
What's going on, Texans? I'm Melissa Harkins, and I'm standing outside of Room 2204 to interview Miss Harbrick on her mythology and folklore success time. Let's go check it out. In mythology, fairy tales, and folklores, we focus on one topic at a time, and we really dive into the origins of those stories. So, for instance, urban legends. You know, where did the stories come from? How did they start? Are they true? And with fairy tales, you know, we get the watered down, family friendly version, but the originals are anything but. And same with mythology. Well, I see kids who really wanted to be a part of the club who weren't able to get in uh, during the success time to come after school for two days a week and just hang out. I want it to also be a place of learning. You know, uh, not only do kids get together and make new friends, uh, but they actually do learn something and can take it and, and tell other people or use it, you know, for, for, some, for themselves sometime in the future. Maybe this is what they want to do after high school. It's a place where everybody can, with similar interests can get together and make new friends and learn really interesting things. Cinderella's stepsisters cut their heels and toes off to fit into the glass slippers. Atlas was punished to hold the heavens, not the earth. Hera was Zeus's sister who later became his wife. The Candyman was real and he lived in Pasadena. Crazy. Yes, you heard that right. The Candyman was here in Pasadena. Well, since we have all that wrapped up, Miss Harwick wants this to be an ACE program. So if you want to join, come by to room 2204, to her classroom, of course, and sign up. She only needs four more people. Let's make it happen. Wow, Miss Hartwick is an amazing storyteller and we here at Planet Rayburn love them. Ro Kappa's seniors, please come by to, to place your order for cords. The order form and the fee are due by April 22nd to Miss Houston in room 2425. Don't you hate when people playing loud music in the halls? Well, here's a PSA to put some headphones in. Come here, come here. You need to turn that off. You're not allowed to listen to music out loud in the halls. It's too loud anyways. Get better taste in music. What are you doing? Turn that stuff off. I'm done. Remember, have some courtesy. Turn it off or put those headphones in. Ro Cap of the Social Studies Honor Society will be accepting applications for new members from April 11th through April 22nd. You must have at least four semesters of high school social studies and have a B average in all classes. And their social study classes too. Please ask your social studies teacher to come by or to go to Ms. Houston's room 2425 to get an application. The $10 dues are due with the application on March 30th. Omar Perales and Elizabeth Rosenbaum had the honor of being the two students here in the entire district of Pasadena to be selected in the Athletic Hall of Fame. Here are their responses. It's quite an honor and it's a tribute to them. It's a tribute Carnes and her program and it's a tribute to the parents and that sort of thing. So congratulations to you guys. Thank you so much. Actually, I was a uh... I'm very surprised because uh, I know there was a lot of different athletes, especially from this school, that applied to it, and I'm, I'm just really honored that I was one of the ones that got picked. Um, receiving the award, I was really surprised. I didn't think I was get, gonna get a response this quickly. I mean, we just sent in our application like two, three weeks ago, so it's really crazy that all this happened so quickly. I felt appreciated. It was a, it was a great thing. It was a great feeling knowing that uh, the Rayburn staff and all the teachers that really care about how much, how we do and what types of help we get. I did not expect all the confetti coming from everywhere or my parents being there. I had no idea what was going on or I kept asking Omar if he knew what was happening and we, we didn't know. So it was really great. My name is Omar Perales. I'm Elizabeth Rosenbaum and, and I, I am in, in the Athletic, the Athletic Hall, Hall of Fame. Fame. Alright, and this video was brought to you by the AP Lymphomia Ice Bucket Challenge.
Hey Rayburn, I'm Brian Sevilla, Student Council President. So basically what happened, we uh, dumped ice water on the APs. We divided the APs into two teams and the four APs that were there, they, they had the most money in their bucket. So they had to take on the ice bucket challenge for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Well, McCardle, you totally are a trooper with that ice bucket challenge, man. Great job. That's all that we have for you today, Texans. So always remember to stay, stay true, true to, to the blue. blue.